What's going on guys, it's Luke here from Up North Collectors and today we are doing a quick SGC reveal. So we have about 150 cards to go through here um, for a variety of customers. If you're interested in sending cards to our SGC group submission, make sure you check out our website, upnorthcollectors.com. All the information is on the website. It's $18 per card, five to 10 business day turnaround, uh, very quick shipping back to you. Um, and yeah, so it's very, very simple. Check that out, 18 bucks per card, the cheapest you'll find it anywhere on online um so let's go ahead and get into it this stack is for jensen r so 96 uh or 76 77 tops kareem in a three five we've got a Derek carr in a nine that guy in a nine ufc silver who holes in an eight five this willie Mays is awesome in a nine tilt this down so we can see a little bit better very very cool one there not numbered but a sweet one tom brady fleer ultra gold medallion in an eight five and then a nice adley in a nine five so those are for jensen next stack here these are for tristan we've got this awesome juan soto in a 10 10 uh articuno in a six T Law in a nine, Fields in a nine, and then a nice Khalil Watson in a 10. So cool one there. That was for Tristan L. Next stack is for Camden. So we send out a submission every single Tuesday um, at this point. Uh, last week's submission was 220 cards. This week is looking to be about the same size. So make sure to get your cards in. Uh, you know, if you try to schedule it so it comes in close to a Tuesday, we'll get them out. Um, as long as they are here on Tuesday, they head out that same day. So uh, these are for Camden R. Nice Bobby Witt gold in a 10-10. And then a Jalen Suggs in a 9-10. Those ones were for Camden. Next stack is for Chris. Got this Juan Soto out of 500 and a nine. Then a Thielen, Justin Jefferson out of six, and an Adrian Peterson, uh, first edition. Those are for Chris. Next stack is for Evan G. Got an Aaron Judge update and an 8.5, T-Law and a 9, and then a T-Law uh, Classics and a 9. So those ones were for Evan G. Next few here for a Logan F. Send in some mosaics. We've got a Zach Wilson, uh, Justin Fields, and a nice Mac Jones silver and a 10. Looks like he's coming back. Just saw on ESPN uh, that the headline broke that Sam Ellinger is now the starter for the Colts, which is wild. They benched Matt Ryan, so that's pretty crazy. Did not see that coming at all. Uh, Yastrzemski, 4-5. Gary Carter. Robin Yount. Uh, Yastrzemski. Gaylord Perry. Steve Garvey. Mickey Mantle in a 1-5. And then a nice Soto Auto in a 9-10. Those were from Mike G., How's your stack right there, Mike? Next up, a couple here for Demetrius. Got a Fields and a Likely. And I believe both those actually ended up going in for Reholder. Um, this next stack is for Skyler. Send in some sweet 92 Skybox Marvel. Very, very cool cards. I've never seen these before, but these look awesome. Um, look a very, very nice slab, but metal is just a brutal grade. You're going to see lots of sevens, eights. I mean, really, if you get a nine, that's more like a 10 for a metal card. Um, you know, it's that hard to get good grades on that metal stuff. Uh, next stack is for Mike M and Travers, uh, sending some cool basketball. So we got a Cade, a Mobley, a Davion Mitchell in a nine, Kaminga in a 10, Jalen Green in a 10, Jalen Suggs in an eight, five. So that was for Mike. This one is for Danny H. Send in a Burrow downtown. Came back a 9.5. Sweet one there. Next couple are for Matt U. Uh, we've got a Herbert Club in a 9.5. And then a Kyle Pitts Red Disco in a 10 for the Falcons. These over here. Next couple here are for Hunter H. Hunter H, uh, Lamella Ball in a 9.5, Kobe Skybox in a 3. I think you knew that this one was going to do poorly, if I remember. Um, and then a nice Stafford Tops 2009 in a 10. Stafford doesn't really look right this year. Uh, if you watch him play, it kind of seems like he's playing hurt. I don't really know, but that's what it looks like to me. There's Notani for Devin B in a 9. 
And then this deck is for Evan K. Evan always has some really cool vintage F1 stuff, which is always fun to see. Definitely have learned a little bit looking up some of this stuff. Um, so some cool stuff here, 8.5. These ones have like little acetate borders, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, Sena in a six. Uh, that one in an eight. Eight five. A five on that one. This is cool. Uh, Travis Pastrana in an eight five. Going big. Cool card there. And send some cool WWE stuff. Gold Dust in a nine five. Uh, Rob Van Dam in a 9.5, Andre the Giant in an 8, Ultimate Warrior in a 9.5, Hulk Hogan in a 9, Hulk Hogan in an 8.5, Hulk Hogan in a 9.5, and then a Tatis a High Tech Auto in a 9 with a 10 Auto. So that was Evan's stack. And then this final stack here is actually all for one person. This one is going down. I forgot. I didn't put a sticky note. So let me look at the name real quick. Um, I should know this. Uh, this is Joe's stack. So Joe C. Uh, I did a little YouTube short with his stuff because he has some really, really awesome cards. But starting off hot here with a Lou Alcindor or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rookie in a 2.5, which is a really nice grade. So that's very cool. Um, and the rest of the stack is mostly vintage um, and mostly Mickey Mantle. So a 1-5, a 3 on the Bomber's Best. On the 62, the Switch Hitter Mantle and a 4-5. That's a nice grade. Um, this one was Super OC, but cool. 61 tops, MVP Mantle and a 2. We've got a 58 tops, Ted Williams and a 1-5. Sending two of these Seavers. One came back a 6 and one came back a 4. Uh, here's a big one, 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle in a 1.5. Check that card out. Uh, that is pretty amazing, 54 Bowman Mantle. Um, we've got a 64 Tops in a 1. There's a Hank Aaron Clemente and Cepeda in a 4.5 from 68. Yaz Robinson and Killebrew in a 6.5. Joe Morgan and Sonny Jackson rookie in a 3.5. Then we have a Johnny Bench rookie in a one. This one had a fold down the middle. Mickey Mantle in a one five from 65 tops. Mickey Mantle in a one five from 66 tops. 62 tops Mantle in a two. 62 tops has been a really tough grade. This is just a very cool looking card. Obviously, uh, looks like it was handled heavily, but a one there, but still a cool Mantle, 58 tops. I love the 60 tops design. I'm a sucker for it. I think it looks amazing. Uh, but there's a Mantle and a 2.5. A Mantle and a one. That one has a one, or is a one because of the crease down the middle. We've got a Mantle Sport Magazine and a two. Very cool, 54 tops, Ted Williams. That one's awesome in a 1.5. Another um, 58 Mantle and a 1. The other cool thing about his stack here is he, I believe, only got one authentic grade, which is pretty impressive for vintage. Generally, you get a couple that don't meet, you know, min size or whatever, but uh, it was not the case in this sub. The satchel page and a 1, some paper loss down the bottom, and a pinhole up top. Uh, 53 Bowman Color, Bauer, Barra, and Mantle and a 1. That card's awesome. Ted Shows How and a 6.5. This one's pretty crazy. Uh, 1964 tops Venezuelan Mickey Mantle in a one, obviously missing part of the card up there, but still amazing. Uh, and then we've got a 66 tops and a two five, a 59 tops or 69 tops, sorry, in a two, a 67 tops in a two. Bryce Harper rookie in a 9.5. Good timing on that one. This was definitely a disappointment. Uh, Kevin Durant in a four. I mean, yeah, it has a lot of chipping, but I I didn't think that this was a four. Um, not really even close. So that one was interesting. 8.5 on the Julio 3D. 10.10 on the Lubob. Kobe rookie in a seven. Bichette in a 10. That's the UK gold number 225 rookie. That one's cool. The Grom rookie in a 10. And then this one was a big disappointment too. The Soto Chrome in a 4. I don't know. I don't know. I have to take a closer look at this one to see what went on there. But that was a bummer as well. A 4. I mean, you'd think the card would be destroyed. Um, but 
yeah, I've got to take a closer look on that one. Four there. Uh, Mickey Mantle in a two. 68 Mickey Mantle in a two five. Uh, Ted Williams, 54 and a one five. Here's a cool one. Uh, 57 tops Willie Mays in a two. I love 57 tops as well. Um, 59 tops Mantle in a one. Uh, I would say that this one actually has a little bit better eye appeal than the two does, um, in my opinion. So, uh, pretty cool one, but then got a two on that as well. Two five on the Ted Williams, 57. Five on the Mantle tops game. Got a, oops, six on the Willie Mays tops game. 67 tops Mantle and a one. Uh, 69 tops Reggie Jackson in a one. Mantle 61 tops and a one. Here's a big one. Uh, Nolan Ryan in a one five, 68 tops. Mantle 68 tops in a one. That stuck to this front one. This is the best grade on a Mantle in the sub, I believe, uh, on a Mantle, like a true Mantle card, but a 58 tops Mantle in a four. So that one is awesome. And check out this one. This is my favorite card in the sub. Authentic evidence of trimming, unfortunately, uh, which he and I both had agreed upon that this card was trimmed uh, when it came in. You kind of tell. Um, but a 38 Gaudi heads up Joe DiMaggio. So that one is pretty awesome. Joe sent in some awesome stuff. But that is it for this sub. Had some other stuff in here, but it was already picked up by customers in store. So that is it for, uh, that's all stuff that people sent in uh, through YouTube. Uh, but we'll be back with a, another SGC reveal soon. I'm going to go live here in the next day or two to do the giveaway. Um, and I'll be heading out to the Boston show, the best weekend card show in Boston this weekend, Halloween weekend. Um, Saturday and Sunday. I will be set up out there out east in Boston. Super excited. Uh, so some more content coming around that here uh, as well. So stay tuned. Make sure to like the video if you're new. Subscribe uh, and we'll catch you in another video here soon.